So I've had office jobs, and um, and they're great too. I mean, I could I could definitely I could fit into any <laughs> any situation. It's it's not a problem, but um, definitely I mean, be able to come here. Like I said, it's really um, not there's no stress most of the time. Go on, go on patrol, drive up the mountain, you know, see if things all right, and then kind of take a look right here, and then it's just it's revitalizing. Just to see you again right by my side There is just not enough time to spend time Too many things to go in all our busy, busy lives There's, I have so many interests really things that I really enjoy doing um, I mean art and music or I guess and, you know and raising my son or those are kind of the sole three um, on the list but you know coming from that I mean I also like rock climb and I mountain bike and just you know run trails hike and ride my bike all around town and you name it so there's always I have so many interests and things that I really have to do to just to kind of feed my soul it's been a 60 hour week I also I uh, paint and draw uh, as well, so I'm an artist in that way. So I tend to all this my I guess creative cycles have varied in length, but I usually put a lot of time and energy and focus into let's say like making music for a while, and then when I feel myself starting to kind of run out of that juice, then I'll, I'll switch over and just you know go to a coffee shop and draw, or I'll start painting at home, working on pieces for. For presence or to try to get in galleries, so um, and that way, I guess I had those two two major outlets. So I guess it's the challenge of playing out that's really attracted me to playing open mics and playing at um, Tempe Center for the Arts. Um, and then obviously, it's nice when you know, when you, you write a new song to, to get that reaction, that feel. Um, that you made a connection with at least you know one person in the audience, but hopefully, hopefully more than that. But to really feel that you've gotten your point across or that um, it's been received well, I love the writing part. I love the creating, creating the song is probably my favorite. Just to sit down with a blank canvas and create the song. So I want to challenge myself. You know, I've written songs, written and played them, recorded them, mostly you know for myself, my friends, and then start playing out at open mics. Um, really to, to really start honing my, I guess, my performance skills. Oh, yeah. Maybe you'll kiss to say, hey. However, the creative person I am, the way I'm put together, um, and I don't know if it's from practice or repetition or what, but performing really takes a lot out of me. Um, for me to feel like I've done a good job and to really project my feelings and to sing my songs the way I feel that they should be and not just to you know, show up and play somewhere and then take off. The 
unless he broke his oh the time you have to mend the truth from all that you do keep love at the root of you and this is not time to be blessed I would absolutely cherish and love the opportunity to do it full time. Um, having a son and having a responsibility, I'm kind of caught between, um, I'm a pretty spontaneous artistic person by nature, but then I'm also a single father, so I have responsibilities. So I'm kind of caught in this, you know, uh, the duality of that. Um, and just, you know, just stopping everything right now and uh, trying to eat by while I try to make a musical career, jump off the ground, just doesn't <laughs> seem like the responsible thing to do at this moment. So. I, just, I don't know. I kind of figure if that's if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, if that's my dharma, if that's my calling, then it'll happen.